a small man as well, he's old, he's going grey and he's finished, he's getting knocked out. I've never been so confident of ever a fight before than I am confident of knocking this idiot out. Fight fans, welcome back. Extending to the end like an elbow, fingers getting stuck to the money, Velcro. In boxing, the smallest margins can make a huge difference. They've stuck a muzzle on a wounded animal. And with the psychological warfare of weigh-ins, press conferences, and stare-downs, the fight begins long before the opening bell. 44 steps to the plate and 44 will come up short, guarantee that. Whether it's intimidation, confidence, or mental punishment, some certainly do it better than others. No what won't repeat itself. This time David's gonna win. They say that if you speak something into existence, it's yours. And this never seemed more true than with the calculated and systematic dismantling of the heavyweight's 10-year super champion. You can say you don't know what I'm talking about, but, but I'm seriously I know, saying it. And you know it did exist. So keep your composure and clear your mind as we look at one of the biggest mental beatdowns the sport of boxing has ever seen. History does not lie. History says all old champions move over for the new one. I am the new one. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. Glitch goes getting done, I tell you. And that's a promise. Um, I've got power and I don't mess around. I, I like to fight the best out there. I'm just going to bring something new to the heavyweight division. Confident, outspoken, and incredibly talented, on his rise through the ranks, the Gypsy King was always going to be a handful. Anybody, the clutch goes anyone, they're big as me, but they're not as fast. They've got no movement, they're like wood, if you know what I mean, robotic, as it said. Though where his attitude and his antics saw him labeled as a joker by some, those that knew, knew. And Klitschko, when I was watching him, was a man, what, 24, 25? They were seasoned. This kid's a baby and he performs better than him. From the bottom of my heart, I feel that Tyson has the ability to beat Klitschko. After calling him all things going well, I'm going on a Klitschko bitch hunt, yeah? I'm going to hunt him down all over the world and I'm going to force him to fight. And if he doesn't want to fight, which I don't think he does, <coughs> then I'm going to make him relinquish the titles. In 2013, Fury knocked out Steve Cunningham on away soil before coming back to beat Joey Abel and Derek Chisora in a comfortable fashion. <laughs> Listen, this, this ain't no hype. He he knows not to do anything because he'd get knocked out here. And Are you f***ing mad? Yeah. He's caught him with a solid left hand. There's a little bit of a wobble from Chisora. Though where the 26-year-old continued to shout from the rooftops looking for a breakthrough, it seemed the division's biggest names wanted no part of him. I have one other question for you, Vladimir. Is Tyson Fury next for you? Um, I, in mandatories, and have mandatories. I don't know who is exactly in the line. I believe they've been avoiding me for a while now. And the late, great Emmanuel Stewart said so as well. He said, if you fight Vladimir, you will win. And he even said to Vladimir when I was there, he said, this is the heir to your throne. And here I am, two years later, knocking on that door. Something that was only amplified when British rival David Hay pulled out of their 2013 showdown. So you can beat Usain Bolt as well, yeah? No, I can beat you, though. I don't need to beat Usain Bolt, do I? But you believe you can do it deep down in your heart? You I believe can you can do you. it, yeah? I don't need to be able to beat Usain Bolt, but I can beat you in a fight, for yeah. sure. In the meantime, everything was plain sailing for the man who held all the belts. Down goes Bulev on another left hook. Unbeaten in 10 years and 22 fights, his size, power, and great fundamentals made Vladimir an incredibly hard puzzle to solve. Vladimir Klitschko retains the title. And with four of his last five opponents being unbeaten, the 38-year-old showed no real signs of slowing down. Dr. Steel Hammer! Hey, maybe Father Time's catching up with him. 760, get on for 70 fights, all these training camps, three months at a time in Austria. Someone could be in the right place, right time, and, and beat him soon. As the end of 2014 approached, there came a glimmer of hope for um. the Brit. Klitschko definitely wants to fight with Tyson Fury. It's looking like a big stadium fight in the UK. Announced as the WBO mandatory, it gave Klitschko until the end of 2015 to fight him. So would you go to Germany, Hamburg? Tyson will fight Klitschko anyway. He'll fight him on the moon. Hmm. Which left Fury an opportunity to showcase the best of himself in February against Christian Hamer. If I make it easy, then I've done something right. Pressure's on to perform. With the stage set 
and his wildest dreams on the horizon, the Gypsy King went to town. The uh, pantomime hostilities are over now. See what the real ones are like. In one of his most underrated performances, Fury toyed with his Romanian opponent, winning every second of every round. Oh, great shot! Terrific. And after his pugilistic splendor, just in case we weren't already sure, he made his intentions known. And you know how I feel! I want Klitschko next! Aye, aye. Oh, 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 oh. With a landslide points victory, Klitschko too made light work of his opponent, overpowering and outclassing the younger man. And still, the unified... Thankfully, after years of disregard, the post-fight press conference saw him finally accept Fury as his next in line. Though unfortunately for him, this is where the headaches began. Vladimir, give us a preview of what the Fury fight is going to be like, just the verbal assault that's going to go on. It's going to be a lot of talk, it's going to be a lot of talk, and it's going to be a lot of talk. So, but eventually we're going to meet in the ring, and they're going to be feast talk. Uh, I'd like to fight Vladimir first because one, I'm his mandatory, two, he's the number one in the division, and three, he's an easy fight. So then I fight Wilder. The new guy's coming along nicely. Um, the old man's getting older and older and older. You know, any, any heavyweight that puts on 18 ounce gloves, man, gotta got got a win a chance. The bookmakers and public majority had Fury as a huge underdog from the offset. And not only did he know it, but he thrived on it. Vladimir, you're 40 year old. How can you beat me, 27 year old? You're getting knocked out, mate. I'm the man, I'm the king, you're going to sleep, you're a fool. A has-been, an old man. The first press conference in Dusseldorf offered the first bout of mental sparring. And it didn't disappoint. Personal business between me and thee. Understand? Yeah? I'm interested in all the titles, all them belts you've got on there. I'm interested in breaking your face in. That's what I'm interested in. Is he better than all the great champions from the past? I think not. And all the great champions from the past are 39 years old, are over the hill, or on the decline, rapidly. Calm and collected, Fury picked holes in Vlad's game, letting him know straight away that he had his number. Chasing you around the ring with your jab and grab style, your three punch combinations, your one, two, and a hook, that is your full array of punches. That ain't good enough for somebody like me. You ain't messing with a small guy. You ain't messing with a guy who's afraid of you. I don't look at you and I do, I'm not feared. I'm very unpredictable, and psychologists and all educated people hate unpredictability. So right now, I'm already inside your mind. How's that for psychology? Truth be told, the Ukrainian wasn't used to confrontation. Certainly not from a bigger man. Guys, if you brought an interpoiton. <laughs> and so his attempts to humiliate the Brit were shut down in a surprisingly articulated and self-assured manner. You know, the first time I actually met you face to face, was in, uh, in your training camp in Austria. And I expected this great guy, this great champion. And what did I find? A man with a pair of boxing gloves on, throwing jabs on one-twos and whatever. The same thing over and over again. And I went away from that, that training camp with pure confidence in the fact that you are nothing. Remember that, you are nothing. Most importantly, the Brit flourished in the limelight. Who looks the biggest? Who looks the heaviest? Who looks the smartest? We often see great fighters swallowed by the enormity of a big fight and fail to capitalize. However, he was visibly unfazed. And what better way to prove it than his unforgettable, bizarre entrance to the London press conference? This is a fool! Just like you are! Look at it! That's how you'll be looking when you face me, 24th of October. You look up off your back, like that. Though it wasn't all fun and games, as in due course, the pressure and abuse resumed. You've never fought a king before, have you? You've never fought a king before. You're looking at one of your past me. You ain't nothing. You're an old man. You get knocked out. I'm the man in your shorts, me. No Joshua's, no Chisora's. There's no reference apart from me. They're only ever after me. Welcome to my city. Welcome to my town. UK, baby. <laughs> If you all have to give me a good idea and beat me, I will definitely walk across that ring, give you the biggest hug, shut your arm and say you're a great man right me. But you know what? I can see by looking at you, not that man to beat me. Look happy for the cameras. <laughs> <laughs>
This was when he was still champion. That's it. And when I was a champion. Right, thank you guys. By this point, Fury's confidence had thrown doubt into many people's minds. Doubt that would only increase by the time Sky Sports released their Gloves Are Off feature. And I faced a lot of guys that promised a lot before, haven't delivered anything in the ring. But I ain't gonna make the same mistake. I ain't looking for that. I ain't looking for that one punch that's gonna knock you out. I'm looking for an accumulation of shots. But what I have is the agility and the speed over you. No matter what you think, but you can ask the fighters I've sparred, the speed of me and the, the movement is unnatural for a man of my size, and that's where you're gonna come unstuck. Promises of the future and reflections of the past, but it was Fury's reference to their old training camp days, the infamous sauna story, that put the final nail in the yeah, coffin. It was all in the sauna, a few guys in there. Yeah. Everyone starts popping off around us, and it gets down to him, and I'm over the other side. But still in my mind, I was mentally in a competition with him. Was prepared. Though, what are you talking about? I stayed I in believe, for like I believe, 40 minutes. Um, I believe, I, I don't know, I mean, I don't remember exactly that. Who um, got out first? He got out first. And what did you think at that time? Fought mental victory. That you build in your own world. Yes. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, seriously. You, you can say you don't know what I'm talking about, but, but I'm seriously I know, saying it. And you know it did exist. There's no hard feelings, lad. Just a boxing match. But I'll be victorious, but I wish you them well. This is a dedication to Vlad and Jonathan and Bond. It must have been cold there in my shadow. Trying some mind games of their own, the Klitschkos made every attempt to unsettle the Brit at the last few opportunities they had. They're cheating all the way, these people. We are getting reports that Team Fury have been and had a look at the ring and they're not happy uh, with what they've seen. It is Either way, by November 28th, for both men, there was nowhere to hide. Tyson Fury! The Veld Meister! Dr. Steel Hammer. Unpredictability. The big question. What happens next? Be my commands at all times above all. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. It's a career-defining moment of truth. Whether it was due to frustration, anger, or Fury's awkwardness, the Ukrainian simply never got started. Not pulling the trigger, is he? Vladimir Klitschko. Stiff and anxious, he looked to run out of ideas almost immediately with no answer to the size and movement of the brick. That was an experience there from the most experienced of world champions. Totally nullified, there was little to no danger of either man being knocked out. Though as the rounds progressed, the result drifted further and further beyond any doubt. And with it, grew Fury's confidence. But the feeling for me is that Tyson Fury deserves to be crowned world heavyweight champion. And that was the hardest night he's had in a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecard. To the winner by unanimous decision. From the United Kingdom. He's done it! There is a new era in heavyweight boxing. Everybody wrote us off, said we had no chance. I kept faith, he kept faith. We all believed we could do it, we came here and we done it. His head movement, I couldn't land the right punches. I uh, congratulate him tonight, he won the fight. And um, to be continued. If I could be half as good as champion as Vladimir Klitschko, I'd be very, very happy. One of the sport's most sensational, told you so performances. The shutout represented a huge turning point, both for British boxing and for the heavyweight division. When Klitschko got in the ring for the fight, he just didn't look, he was on edge because of Tyson's unpredictability. He'd done a job on him, in and out of the ring. He's, he's defeated all odds. Nobody gave him a prayer back in the UK. The bookies have lost a lot of money. You know, and I said it all along, what he'd do? I didn't mix my words. I'd listen, all you non-believers, you know what I'm saying. Did I lie to you? Not only that, but despite a temporary downfall, 
It allowed Fury to become the force and inspirational figure he is today. I'd like people to get to know the real Tyson Fury behind all the bravado, behind all the tongue in cheek. He gets thousands of messages of people saying, you've inspired me, you've stopped me from doing this, you've stopped me from doing that. It's important to recognize and impossible to forget just how dominant and supreme of a champion Klitschko was. Though, both inside and outside the ring, the Gypsy King was a stylistic nightmare. I'm Vladimir Klitschko's bogeyman. And I've been saying it for a hell of a long time. We fight you in your backyard and like a dumb Klitschko. As Wilder, an equally loud and outspoken character, tasted some of the same. I want him to meet me dead in the center of the ring unless I have a slugfest. Best man stands up losing. They'll have the most charismatic, the most colorful, the most controversial champion since Muhammad Ali. And that's what the world's been waiting for. And if I ain't the man to fill them boots, they'll be waiting a hell of a long time more.